Okay, welcome back, part two. We're going to go ahead and uh, get this stuff rolling. It's been a couple minutes now. So what we're going to do is, first of all, clean our tops again, because they've been exposed for a short time. I uh, go ahead and re-scrub it. And then uh, uh, come, right, come right back. And now I'm going to go ahead and clean off all the tips of these. One swipe using a different portion of the thing each time. Not to contaminate, even though if there's anything on there, the alcohol's probably killed it anyway. I don't know about as sterile an environment as you can get, even though it's not considered like major sterile in here, but we do what we can. Alright, so now like I said, I was going to get a smaller vial, a smaller syringe. All right, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that up about seven and a half mils. Go past seven. It's usually about a fourth. See the fourth on there? I'm gonna do that. Let's start with the first one that I compounded. I uh, usually hold these up to my hand. If I see any sediment behind it, I know I'm not ready yet, but these are ready. All right, I'm going to add the 7.5 mils of air. Oh. I guess it would help if I had it up and in there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that one more time. All right. I think I may have messed it up already. Way to go, man. Nope, we're good. All right. I don't want to start over my first time doing this in the hood. All right. Well, first time showing you all about it. I think I did on Dancetron before, but no. So, pull it up there, make sure there's no bubbles in it, which there's not. Then I take it over here, there's a little inner circle inside the circle. Boom, pop that through, you'll feel it pop, then you just add it. You hold that, hold the plunger down. I don't know if you can see that. Hold the plunger down, and then you gently pull out. There you go. You just kind of rock it back and forth. That has 7.5 mils in it. Keep moving down. Alright. Add another 7.5 mils. Take 7.5 mils out. Gently. And then press and add. All right, your turn. You got it? You got it? All right. 7.5 mils up of air. 7.5 mils down of air. 7.5 mils up of bank. And now. Adding. All right. The reason I had to do two bottles, you might think, well, hey, you're going to get through that whole thing. 7.5 mils, seven times, is 552. Uh oh, we got a little bit of a corning issue. You see that dripping down? That's because I went through the uh, hole at a different angle. That'll happen. Alright. See that? I almost added it to that one. Almost, but I didn't. Get ahead of myself sometimes. <laughs> then I saw the coring, I got scared. Just kidding. Me, sir, never.
left so I was right on Need another 2.5 mils which I'll extract from this one I'm gonna go ahead and pull it down to where I need it to be right there seven and a half and what I'm gonna do is just gonna go ahead and flip that bad boy upside down the stopper's gonna hold it in I'm go ahead and add the air I'm just gonna pull out the seven and a half Oh, oh now it happens. One, two, wham, bam, thank you, man. Those are nicely done. What we're going to do now is this goes in the trash or sharps container. I take a look at these, these both have the same lot number, so I can throw one in the sharps container. These here both have the same lot number, I can throw one in the sharps container. So that way everything's recorded. Alright, so now I just go through and just kind of move them around. Alright. That's a process. I don't get to do it as often as I like, but I like to share. Because it's one of the things that takes me away from the regular parts of my job. Alright, so now what I do is I'm going to take all of these down to the, uh, the filling station, get them labeled up and ready to go, and then drop everything off. We're done being sterile right now, so that's good. The medication's in here, it's solidified. This isn't going to get touched anymore. That when the nurse takes it out, they're going to use this port, which is also secure, and they'll also go ahead and re-sterilize it. So that way you don't have to worry about, since this is an exposed port, it's a one-way port. Nothing's coming out of it. It's just the way it closes around the needle when it's extracted. What do we do with this is we're going to put a little stopper over the top, and we're going to write the date that we did it on. And then, so what we're going to do is on Monday, uh, We'll be able to use this again because this is good for 14 days. These have to stay refrigerated, so I'm going to stop flapping my gums and go ahead and get these in the row. All right. Well, here's our finished product. And that. Thanks for checking us out. I had a lot of fun doing it.